welcome back guys to my youtube channel so today you'll be coming with me as i take you through another african store here in minneapolis so if you can remember from my last video when we got here like my relocation video to minneapolis i took you guys through one of the african stores that was um here in minneapolis and today i'll be taking you guys through another store this store is located in st paul in minneapolis and um it's called um, the joyful african food store as you saw from the beginning it's a bigger store compared to the one i took you guys through last time here they have much more ingredients and like i said you do not have to pack the entire world when you're relocating to the united states and that's because they already have a lot of nigerian food here the only downside to the food packaged here is that a lot of these leaves have already been like sun dried they are like really really dry so you have to do some manipulations to actually make them taste fresh when you cook them so on this day i wanted to make my favorite soup or her soup and i was like where will i find these ingredients to make this soup and then we happened to go on google and we found this joyful african food store where they have so many things they have cow skin they have oha leaf they have all sorts of leaf dried up dried oha leaf and um so many other leaves some of them were refrigerated or frozen but a lot of the leaves were actually just dried and they had so many things they had palm oil they had anything you wanted to use to make swallow they had fufu they had um gari they had poundo yam they had semovita they had anything any kind of swallow you wanted they had so many ingredients that they actually that you can actually buy in nigeria and it was just so much fun touring through the store here i also found this moi moi flour and then i also bought the like already peeled beans the one you don't have to soak the beans get the cover out this one has a, those that has already been done for you and packaged the only thing you just have to do is probably blend the beans and then go straight to making your moi moi or you can get the moi moi flour but i bought both of them just because i wasn't sure how to use either i just wanted to know which one tastes better so i bought both of them i'll be making moi moi one of these days but on this day it was for half of our to also aside from the food they also sell some items that you can use in your kitchen they sell pots they sell some of these turning sticks for making your swallow they sell mortar like when i even saw it i was surprised 
I wasn't going to get that. I've never pounded yam in my entire life. My mother has never pounded yam in her life, so <laughs> I don't really know how to do it. But then they sell it for those that li- like the pounded yam, like life and direct. They also sell mortar for you here. It was down here somewhere. Yes, that's it. So the mortar is like right there for you. So you don't really miss much. They have like these calabash plates and all. Some people like like local, local, locally made dish to be served in locally made utensils. So they have the calabash plate for you. They have pots and everything for you there. So it's a very, very nice African food store to come to in Minneapolis if you're here in Minneapolis and it's owned by on like like the last video the last african store i took you guys to was owned by a Ghanaian. He, this one is owned by a liberian lady one elderly liberian lady nice as well so the funny thing is how these african food stores many of them are owned are not even owned by nigerians although they sell a lot of things imported from nigeria they're not even owned by Nigerians, but they are owned by some other African people. This one was owned by a Liberian lady. Maybe my next African food store that I'll be taking you guys through might be owned by a Nigerian. I, I can't wait to actually find one owned by a Nigerian. But all join, all the same. It's a nice store. Very neat no insects no nothing everything was well packaged and sealed at your own uh, for your own pleasure so just stay with me as we go through some of the um things i bought in the store i bought a few things i bought all the ingredients for my oha soup (laughs) i also bought some ingredients for other things and yeah so they also sell some snacks and see plantain chips uh chin chin more plantain chips i wasn't really looking into getting any of these they also sell biscuits they sell palji the palji or this biscuit that i used to like when i was in nigeria it was also here so like i was like wow nice but mostly kuli kuli plantain chips and all the rest are some of the things they actually sell and then this section like this i don't know what it was all those caro white bleaching cream and the rest was what was there and maybe dettol and all those antiseptics then they also sell ankara in case you have a tailor here that can make them for you so instead of stressing yourself out so we are back keep quiet <laughs> we are back and i will just show you guys what we bought bought a few things so i'll show you guys what we bought <laughs> stop looking at me now i'm making me shy <laughs> there's not much to do when all i can is thinking about you not doing well don't know where you are Cause you're not here It's been way too long If I could lay down beside you I would, I would When nothing really matters That's all I wanna do I hope that you're safe And that I will see you soon If I could lay down beside you you 
so guys that's pretty much all i bought at the african food store please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel see you guys on my next video thanks bye